One of the first structures built at the fort was the Stone Water Tower, built at a cost of $19,065 in 1893. It stands approximately 80 feet high and was originally capped with a large ornate weather vane, later replaced with a searchlight. The tower is built of local Vermont stone and held 50,000 gallons of water. Wells were drilled on site and pumped by the pulley air lift system, which sent compressed air down into the well to air lift water back up, enough to supply the needs of 8,500 men and 1,800 horses or 5,400 gallons an hour. In the early 1960s, the tower was deeded to the town of Essex as a part of the water system, and although no longer used as an operating water tower, the town generously allows the Essex Community Historical Society to open the tower to the public on special occasions. Because electricity did not come to the fort until 1905, steam engines were initially used to pump water into the tower's tank from wells that had been dug nearby. Here you can see some of the remains from the other tower that was installed about 100 feet away. These four concrete pillars still have some of the remains inside of them from the steel structure that once existed. There is so much history here at the Fort of Ethan Allen. Make sure you stop by and check it out yourself. If you like this presentation of Fort Ethan Allen Water Tower, Please smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It means a lot to me and you will be notified when the new video comes out. Thank you.